Emily was sitting at her study table, home alone, on a cold and stormy night. Her parents had taken a flight earlier in the morning to Australia as her grandmother had passed away. She had wanted to follow her parents, but she had an important English examination the next day, which she could not miss. The storm was getting heavier by the minute and the wind was howling outside. All this noise made it very hard for her to concentrate. She was on the verge of dozing off, when she was shaken alert by a sudden thud. She dismissed it as a window, which had been slammed shut by the wind. She tried to concentrate on her books when she heard faint footsteps. Emily got out of her room and looked around. Suddenly without warning, she was grabbed by the neck. She tried to scream, but it came out as a mere whimper as the intruder was pressing hard against her throat with his arm. Give me all your money. Suddenly the phone rang which alerted both of them. People will get suspicious if I don't answer the phone, said Emily. All right, but no funny business or else. She picked up the phone. Hey Em. How's the revision going? Said the caller. Hey Jennifer. Thanks for the call. You know those science notes I lent you last week? Well, I really need them back. It would be a great help to me. It's an emergency, so if you could give me them tomorrow, it would be great. Please hurry in finding the notes. I need to get back to my books now. She said bye and she hung up the phone. It was wise of you not to say anything. Now tell me, where the money is kept. All of a sudden, they heard police sirens. The intruder froze in his footsteps. He ran to the nearest window and jumped out of it. Emily ran outside in time to see the intruder being escorted into the car. She saw Jennifer and she ran toward her and hugged her. Smart girls. What had happened? 